Hey scientist, today we're going to be reading The Story Goes On by Eileen Fisher, pictures by Mike Morucci. The Story Goes On by Eileen Fisher. Here's where events will unroll one by one with quick drops of rain, with warm rays of sun. The seed breaks its skin with nary a sound. A shoot seeks the air, a root hugs the ground. A plant starts to grow and soon to be brief, there's a stalk with a green little fluttery leaf. Now enter a bug who's looking for dinner. He stops, ho, a leaf, a tender beginner. He climbs the short stalk to nibble not knowing an enemy lurks where some grasses are growing. The enemy squats in the grass looking smug while the green little leaf makes a meal for the bug. And then in a flash with the stealth of a thief, a frog's sticky tongue flicks out at the leaf and snatches a meal, the bug comes to grief. Now the frog all the while is quite unaware that a snake in the grass waits patiently there, eager to swallow the frog for his dinner. A slither, a snatch, and the snake is the winner. It somehow is able to swallow the frog. While a hawk in the sky looks down all agog, the snake goes to nap near a mossy old log. Happy to relish the warmth of the day, not knowing a hawk will enter the fray. With a swish and a swoop, the hawk flashes down. It snatches the snake and flies past the town, with the snake in its claws and the sun on its crown. It flies over fields to its nest in a tree, but it never arrives, for its eyes fill to see the farmer who waits in the shade with his gun. Bang, bang! All the plans of the hawk are undone. It falls to the ground where a coyote will make a very good meal of a hawk and a snake. Then crows come to peck, and early that night, beetles called sextons, before it is light, will bury what's left completely from sight. And then in the soil, made rich in this way, a seed will start sprouting and growing someday. With quick drops of sun, events will unroll, and bef as before, one by one. A leaf and a bug, a frog and a snake, a hawk and a man, what a drama they make. A coyote, a sexton, from hither or yon, what a procession to ponder upon as over and over the story goes on.